Hey, good afternoon, traders. Stu here with your no hype analysis. We are doing our daily market update, and I'm going to make this a quick one today because the market is simply doing exactly as I expected and exactly as I predicted the last two or three of these updates. No sense in repeating myself. What I will say here is it is looking like we do have uh, a ascending wedge of some sort playing out coming into play and in a bullish market this is a continuation pattern so at some point i do expect expect us to break to the upside beat this resistance and continue on up in our uh ascending uh, channel all right so that's what it's looking like and that makes total sense in conjunction with the fed's stated action plan not to raise interest rates until june of 2022 that means that the inflationary prices have to be factored into these indexes until then somehow and so it aligns with our indicator which telling which is telling me right now that the price is going to continue moving up in the next few weeks and months nasdaq basically the same thing you know we have ourselves a bullish wedge here i'm just going to draw it out real quickly and in a bullish market prob probability suggests that we will continue to move up so at some point we will do battle with this line of resistance and i expect us to defeat that and continue on up in our ascending channel what does this mean for the dow because you guys remember i had drawn uh, this uh, uh, potential uh, head and shoulders pattern which is generally bearish in this case however i would suggest that this head and shoulders pattern if we do reach that neckline um you know it's definitely a dangerous territory and we could break down we need to watch that closely but being that inflation needs to get factored into this market here i would suggest and here's our downtrending line that it's a possibility or, or, or a greater possibility now that we don't actually um, fill this head and shoulders pattern but instead that we move up do battle with this downtrend line beat that and come in fighting with our level of resistance it could be that over the next weeks and months we'll just do some sort of sideways action here all right and not actually do battle with this neckline and break down um, and i'm only saying that because that makes sense in correlation with the other charts all right, QQQ is also the same way. We've got ourselves a wedge here, just like all the rest, which is a continuation pattern and likely to continue up in the future. Of course, this is a longer term time frame. I mean, longer term being weeks and months into end of February, March of next year. All right, so I do all this analysis on our stock markets, mainly to get to what the price action will look like in the crypto space let's jump to dominance chart first we're bouncing off that 40 percent and likely to head up here i've drawn this um, rectangle we're likely to go, go up here and do battle in that zone probably not beat it right away but we will continue until we finally move up and i do believe bitcoin will gain some more dominance again at that point and beat the 42 percent level all right um and bitcoin is as i said yesterday again this is why i'm making this short i said the bulls and the bears will have to do battle at this red line eventually it's looking like they're doing that today uh, i said this yesterday actually and so here we are right in this territory bulls and bears are battling i don't know if the bulls will have enough energy today bitcoin is already up almost four percent um so likely tomorrow we'll continue this war for the next maybe through the weekend but i will not become 
you know, slightly bullish again until we beat this level. Once we're in this territory, that is our confirmation. And again, we need two candles to open and close in this area uh, to signify further bullish action. All right, Ethereum still looking strong, still have not, the bears have not taken us below this neckline. This is all very bullish for Ethereum. Ethereum is still in bullish territory, never went bearish, never went bearish. This whole drawback, it has been bullish. All right, so looking good there as well, and it will continue to lead many of the coins in the altcoin space. All right, that is my wrap up for today on the crypto space. And I might put out another video on an altcoin chart. As you guys know, I did a, uh, a video on Jasmine. I told you where my buy limit was here at 737. Met that almost exactly. And now today we are almost up 30%. So that is my win for the day and your free trade alert. All right. Best of luck to you all traders. Stay safe out there and Merry Christmas. If I don't see you till after the new year, I will put out more videos. So if you're watching me, you'll see me again. Uh, but hope you all stay safe out there and have a blessed holiday.